Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be previewing the upcoming meeting here at Fanny Bay, which will be this Saturday, the 22nd of February. Having raced in Darwin just eight days previously, the fields are a little on the light side. However, we have three each way events and some smart horses resuming in the day's feature, the Mrs. Max Pies handicap over 1200 metres. A total of 36 horses have accepted for the five races, so for this time of the year that is more than acceptable, with just three weeks until the feature St Patrick's Day Cup meeting on the 14th of March. The first in Darwin on Saturday is the Coates Higher Handicap. It's a 0 to 64 event and it's over 1,000 metres. It's time to go at the mid-afternoon time of 3.34pm. And in the first, my numbers, nice and simple down the book, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Number one, no alibi, looks to me the better of the day. Uh, trained by Gary Clark and Jared Todd in the saddle. He raced here just eight days ago. Finished sixth of seven on that occasion behind the very smart Eastwood. Beaten eight lengths. That was a zero to 76. Uh, this is a zero to 64. He drops two grades. He also um, goes up in weight a little bit from the 55 kilograms to the 59. But uh, I think uh, in uh, this small field, no alibi. She's a mare, incidentally, uh, by... Uh, star witness, she'll take all the beating. Number one on top for me. To beat number two, Tregoric, looks the obvious danger for Felicia Bergstrand, the uh, dual licence holder, trains and rides this one. Last start winner here on Australia Day, the 25th of January, or the day before Australia Day. Uh, that uh, was in Benchmark 54 company. So unlike uh, No Alibi, who's coming back in grade, Tregoric going up in, uh, in quality and class, but should run well again. In for third, number three, good to be great uh, from the stable of Phil Cole. He had a good winner last week with Verna Valu and Wayne Davis. Great to see Wayne back in the saddle last week. He, uh, he'll be looking for that elusive first winner. He takes the mount on Good To Be Great and in for fourth, uh, Good To Be Great's a stable mate, Wicked Affair. Down the book, one, two, three and four in the first. The second is the Mrs Max Pies. It's the benchmark uh, event, a benchmark 77. So pretty high grade race uh, on Saturday. And this one over the 1200 metres and some pretty smart horses going around here. My numbers are one, three, two and seven. Uh, a very smart horse at the top of the uh, handicap here is number one, Smuggling. Trained by Phil Cole and Wayne Davis in the saddle. Smuggling uh, was a, a star of the carnival in the lower grades uh, in 2019 when trained by Stephen Brown. Now in Phil Cole's stable and has done nothing wrong for Phil. Was the last up winner here on the 23rd of November. So fresh up uh, is Smuggling, but uh, by all accounts is doing everything right in track work. The 1200 metres you would think would suit first up. Draw on the outside, won't matter, we'll get back and uh, hopefully be hitting the line hard. One on top for me. To beat number three, El Toronado. His last couple of runs, I think, have been uh, not too bad. He's an old boy now, nine years old. But of course, uh, Carl Spry trains and uh, rides, knows him so well. He drops two and a half kilos from his last uh, start uh, fourth behind Eastwood. That was here the other day and only beaten a tick over four lengths. So I can see him racing well in this, uh, in this grade. In for third, another fresh runner, number two, Moot from the Gary Lafoe Junior Stable and Paul Shires in the saddle. Moot uh, hasn't raced since the 12th of October. That was in Alice Springs where he won over 1,400 metres. So he's a fresh runner but should race well in the, uh, that uh, grade or in, in that uh, condition on Saturday rather. And in for fourth, number seven, Miazza. One, three, two and seven in the second. The third's the Bet365 handicap. It's for the 0 to 58 gallopers. And again, this one over 1,200 metres. My numbers here, 7, 1, 3 and 2. Each way betting here, as it will be for the last three races on the card. I'm going here with number 7, Real Royal trained uh, by Felicia Bergstrand and uh, Felicia of course takes them out. Incidentally, Felicia's uh, last meeting here in Darwin for some time. She's heading off overseas uh, to her native Sweden for uh, a bit of a break. Uh, so we wish her all the very best and hopefully she can go out on a winning note here with Real Royal. Raced here the other day behind my tradition. Finished fourth on that occasion, but the run was full of merit. Three wide the trip uh, and uh, only beaten 2.2 lengths. Drew wide on that occasion, has drawn one this time and uh, that could be uh, the difference between between uh, the fourth last time and maybe winning on Saturday. Seven on top for me. Ahead of number one, Malicious. Paul Shires for Phil Cole. Uh, it's been disappointing, I reckon, its last two after a very good third here first up on the track. That was on the 4th of January. 
but uh, prepared to allow it another chance. Uh, Paul Shires on board and down in grade. He's been racing in 0 to 64, back to the 58. In for third, number three, the stable mate looking for you, Wayne Davis for Phil Cole. Uh, fourth, a last time out on the 1st of February, but I think is the improver in this event and uh, was beaten on that occasion by Patria. There's no Patrias in this. And in for fourth, uh, can't leave number two, My Tradition Out. was a good winner last time out, but uh, unlike last week where he drew one, he goes from the outside gate this time, Barry Huppets for uh, Chris Pollard. 7-1, 3-2 in the third. The fourth, the bridge to our Atrobus Maiden for the non-winners over the 1,200 metres. Set weights uh, as per normal in the Maidens. My number's here, four, two, eight, and five. Phil Cole, I think, uh, holds the key here with the number four, Seclusion. So he had the two starts in Darwin for two uh, placings, a third and a second behind the smart Kalmar. And uh, Terry Trishel uh, goes aboard. I think this horse is heading towards the Guineas in Alice Springs, so you'd like to think that it would be hard to beat here in this maiden company. Four on top for me, ahead of number two, Peekaboo, from the stable of Cherie Lawler. So he had the one start here in Darwin and made a really good impression. That was uh, on the 1st of February. Finished second to I'm a Puppet, who's gone on and uh, raced well again since. Felicia Bergstrom rides. I think it can uh, race well again, number two. In for third, uh, number eight, Total Faith, from the stable of uh, Jason Manning and Vanessa Arnott aboard. First up in Darwin, finished third uh, behind Tregoric. I thought that was a pretty good effort. Should be improved uh, by that. It's only, only a little uh, filly by Carosio, but uh, she certainly shows ability. And in for fourth, number five, Tacitus. Four, two, eight, and five in the fourth. And then the last, it's the Thrifty Handicap. It's the 0-76. to 76. And a major lead up this one to the St Pat's Cup, uh, as we mentioned, in three weeks' time. The winner of this event is uh, exempt from the ballot in the St Pat's Cup. So a pretty important uh, race in the lead up to that uh, $40,000 feature. My numbers in the Thrifty are 2, 6, 8 and 1. Going with number two, Mazzaro, last year's St Pat's Cup winner, trained by Tayan Holter and Paul Shires in the saddle. He's had a run back uh, this campaign that was uh, over 1,300 metres here on the 1st of February. Finished at the tail on that occasion, but uh, was hitting the line hard. Will be improved. Whether it needs one more remains to be seen, but I'm sure that uh, Tayan and Lindsay will have uh, Mazzaro pretty well up to the mark as he heads towards a, uh, re, uh, a repeat or a, a uh, renewal of that St Pat's Cup, which of course he's the uh, title holder in. Two on top for me. Ahead of number six, Borlung, Felicia Bergsman. She could be in for a pretty good day, uh, Felicia, on her last day here in Darwin. Uh, for some time. This one uh, was fourth last time behind uh, Momentum Amethyst. Uh, that was uh, on the 25th of January and of course Momentum Amethyst has since run second last week to make in the grade. Borlung drops in weight, uh, which quite significantly down from 60 kilograms last time to 55 and a half. Drawn one, I think it'll be right in the party. In for third, uh, number eight, Bridgie Flyer. Good run last week behind uh, making the grade. Finished third on that occasion. Vanessa Arnott for Tayan Holter. And my fourth selection, the top weight, Wicked Promise. Uh, obviously getting ready for the St Pat's Cup, but I think... Uh, uh, second up, uh, third up uh, over this trip might just need another one before the uh, big one in three weeks' time. Two, six, eight, and one in the last. Best bet of the day comes up in the first. Race one, number one, uh, no alibi. Should be winning, won't be uh, at any flash odds, but I think it'll uh, get the chocolates in the opener. Well, the best roughie in race two, uh, no alibi, stable mate, number five, Count of Essex. Race two, number five, Count of Essex. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk. But we'll be back again uh, in advance of our next meeting here in Darwin. It's in a fortnight's time, or just a day under a fortnight on the Friday, the 6th of March. But in the meantime, good luck and good punting.